Hey guys, Chito Ferradens here for a limited series of episodes on controversial lens slash health subjects. Today, we'll be talking about fungus and how to get rid of it. To help me with that, Roman from Retro Photo House has sent me a Gallius 44.3 that shows some fungal growth. Roman also thought I was crazy for wanting a lens that has fungus. He's a great source of, for Soviet lenses, and you can find a link to his store in the pinned comment below. So let's clean this up. As a good researcher, I'll start in a place where we can find answers. Google. How to kill fungus. What's this? Feet? Fungus? Ugh, no. How to get rid of fungus. Feet again? No. Best fungicide. Gotta love lists. The first two mention copper. What's up with that? Copper kills fungus? What? Yes. Copper fungus lens. Mm, that's an interesting video. Short summary, get a bunch of pennies, warm them up in a piece of cloth, pack it in a bag with the lens, let it sit under the sun for five-ish hours, and you should be good. He doesn't show before and after, but that's a ton of views. Must be good. Cool, let's do that. Our Gellius 44.3 could use some love. I scavenged through the house and found 41 pennies. I cooked them on the stove for extra warmth, packed it all up. Now the bag goes near the window for some sunny vibes. I open the lens and I'm expecting it to be super clean. All that heat and copper should take care of the job. But I guess it didn't. What could be the issue? After some further research, I learned that all pennies minted after 1982 are 97.5% zinc and only 2.5% copper. But the ones before 1982 are 95% copper. So I went through the 41 coins and found six eligible candidates. I also decided to crank up the effectiveness of the copper by grinding it, adding some silica gel and putting it inside the lens. A mask comes in handy at this point. Now our fungicide compound is right up against the fungus. Let's give it a good shake and bake it in the oven for a few minutes. That should get rid of all the moisture and wipe out these suckers. The last thing to deal with now is cleaning all of this dust from inside the lens. Definitely wear a mask for this. After dusting it, voila, the lens is brand new. To think that people keep this a secret and that you can use a few cents to clean up fungus when tax charges hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars. It's outrageous. All right. Don't do this. This is not safe for your lens and most importantly, not safe to you. This crazy thing does not work. Copper is only a fungicide in special circumstances and it is its ions, atoms with unstable charge that do the killing of the fungus. Warming it up will not do the trick. Copper will not clean or kill the fungus inside your lens. At best, it'll do nothing. At worst, well, this is how the actual sample looks. Not good. Worse than it did in the beginning. Research is key when dealing with things we don't understand. And let's face it, most of us are not familiar with lens servicing and fungus killing. The best we can do is try to prevent fungus inside of our gear. But if it's already there, seek a professional opinion. Once again, I thank Roman from Retro Photo House for providing me with the two Gallius 44.3 samples used. Check Roman's store for great finds and great prices when it comes to Russian camera gear. The links are below. And Roman also has video tutorials on how to clean fungus inside for real of Gallius 44 lenses. So you can check that too. Did I manage to trick you at all? with this video? Did you believe it was going to work? How far did you get into the story before you called it shenanigans? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you thought of this. And there's more coming, so subscribe. I'm Chito Fahadangs and I'll see you next time.